What is up guys? It's Rondé Barber with your week 14 film session from Sunday's 26 to 14 victory at home to the Minnesota Vikings. And I gotta tell you, this game was very much like a lot of games that I've watched with the Bucks. Slow starts, only one possession in the first uh, quarter. But then it started to come to life a little bit. And I don't think that's any coincidence that Scotty Miller showed up right when we needed him. This is after we get the ball back, turn the field. I love the way they set this play up. So they start in a three-man bunch at the top of the screen. They motion Scotty Miller to the bottom. Obviously putting him in this re reduced position. We've talked about this a lot, putting him in a re reduced position so you can expand him down the field. But the thing about this play, Scotty Miller is like maybe the fourth three. This play is supposed to go to Gronk. You can tell where Brady's eyes are. He quickly goes back to number two, Chris Godwin, he's not there. He goes to Mike Evans, he's not there. And then he decides to launch this ball down the field. And this is perfectly designed against the cover three team. Look at the middle safety. Brady's eyes are down low, so he's settling his feet. That's exactly what Tom Brady wanted him to do, and he goes right over the top of this. This is even more impressive to me from the end zone just because of the mechanics of Tom Brady. Of course, we've talked about before when he has a clean pocket, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the league, and look how clean this pocket is. Both Wirfs and Diamond Smith throw their defensive ends up the field, but watch Brady settle reestablish and look at that base to throw this football anybody could throw that ball with his talent his arm talent to perfectly streaking scotty miller and that was when the offense got going so let's go to the other side of the ball i got two plays this was a sack fest for the tampa bay buccaneers on sunday six sacks even pat o'connor got a sack number 79 on the 79th play look it up i will not lie to you but this is the first drive um of minnesota's game and i want you to look at the top of the screen I say a lot, we say a lot, rush and cover have to marry in order to have a good defense. Well, on this play, it's perfectly done. The Bucks are playing man to man, and if you stop it right here, there's absolutely nowhere for Kirk Cousins to throw the football. So that's one aspect of this. The other aspect that I wanna talk about, because it's gonna come up later in the game, is this, this rush game up top. It's Jack Barrett and a defensive tackle, and this is a TE game. So the tackle goes first, the end comes around. And you can see that the tackle takes up two. Shaq Barrett's clear to the quarterback. It's very easy to see from the end zone what happens here. Watch 96 and 58. Tackle is gonna uh, take up the guard and the tackle and then Shaq Barrett because they didn't pass it along. It's free to the quarterback, okay? Later in the game, this is to me Probably the most important play on defense. Look at the score. It's 23 to 14, and they are in scoring range. There was actually a sack right before this by Antoine Winfield Jr. This is Shaq Barrett running another game, except this one is an ET game. Why is that? Because the end goes first. Watch this. See the end go first. He goes underneath, and I think that Sue that he's working with comes around, but because of the confusion caused by the rush game, again, no place to throw the football immediately, so there's time for the rush to get there, and then Shaq Barrett comes in with the sack, and of course, the Vikings missed the field goal after this. Uh, there's one thing I want you guys to notice. If Shaq Barrett doesn't get a sack here, there's a touchdown in the middle field, because unfortunately, Winfield falls down, but rush and cover. They got work together, and they did. Anyways. Uh, you can see it here, same thing. Perfectly done, perfectly executed. And I love the violence <laughs> that Shaq Barrett puts on this guard here. Get out of my way. I'm going to your quarterback, Shaq. That's your film session. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be back next week after the Bucks travel to Atlanta. You guys take care.